today we are at the torture room oh. here at the Dragon's Lair in Las Vegas. I'm here with Miguel. Uh, we're gonna get some tissue work done and um, obviously some much needed R&R this week. So um, Miguel, tell us, what we've been working together for, for a while now. So yeah, tell, off and on for the past year, mm -hmm. yeah. So um, my primary focus has always been to bring out the lines in my legs and abs and some other crazy issues that I always have. Yeah. So there's many different techniques on how you can do that. I know a lot of people have different ways. I like to do myofascial release. I use just my hands. Plus also as they get leaner and leaner, sometimes it's easy to bruise that way. Um, so we're just gonna be using hands and just uh, doing a myofascial release from the abdominal wall, the quads, the IT band, uh, hamstrings and glutes, yes. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna start with the diaphragm. We're gonna release tension off the diaphragm, then work on the outside abdominal wall, that oblique area. And then we're gonna go right through the center and uh, just continue on all the way through from top to bottom. This will really help with the vacuum, keep that core section really, really tight. And also flush water out. So how often can you do stuff like this? Or how often do you recommend people come in? I mean, everybody was getting it done during USA's all week. Uh, you can probably get this done on the stomach. I would say, I would say every 72 hours, like every three days. So twice a week. No food in there. No, feed me. That stomach wall's like, dude, we don't have food in, in 30 minutes. What they fed us just is gone. I was feeling, I was hearing the same thing all last week. Everybody was just starving. It's good you tapered off that cardio because that's just gonna bring the inflammation down on the quads and slowly and slowly the details just slowly start popping in. Yeah, so when you back, just relax the stomach, you can flex it and breathe in, expand that rib, rib cage. And we're gonna hold it for just like five seconds. And then relax, breathe. And then vacuum again. Then relax the stomach, take a few deep breaths. Ready. You're like, can I vacuum? Yeah, you can vacuum. It, it's hard to hold. I get it. So we'll, that's how we do it. You in know, the most tension is here, right through there, and not like right here. I feel like I can really have a lot of control here, but not as much. No, it and comes in. And va vacuums are something you just have to practice. Then I like really good. think about it. Yeah, and then we're gonna vacuum one more time. This just will help expand that root cage. There you go. Let's see those abs now. Yeah. Must be nice, must be nice. All right, we're gonna do some mild fascia release on the quads. What I'm looking for here is contouring all the, the quad muscle groups from this medial quad to center and the outside. What I'm looking is for that gritty feeling, that's that fascia that gets really tight. And uh, so we're just gonna try to smooth that out. Some people like to use lotion like me, some people don't, so.
Yeah, this can be done with the scraping tools as well. Uh, mostly the stone, but just to, pre to prevent any bruising. We're just gonna use the fingertips today. Flex the quad. And relax. Yeah, so here's that that outside quad. The IT band is right here. I don't get directly on it. That would be pretty painful. So we go right underneath it. And we try to break up all this tissue in here. And then we try to peel that IT band off. So as she poses, moves around, you're really gonna see this really pop and show the separation from that sweep to the, to the hamstrings. But we're gonna follow it all the way to the little portion of the group. It's gonna be here for a minute. And what I'm looking for is the grittiness. It's gonna feel very gritty and we need it to look very smooth. Now, initially when I put the lotion on, that lets me, like the palpation, I get to see where the other grittiness is. Right in there, right in there, a little bit right in there. Then we just try to smooth that out a little bit. Bruise easily these days. Again, continuing with myofascial release, um, looking for the grittiness within the muscle tissue to really get them separated and to really pop when she contracts them. So, and it feels, you, you can tell how, what it feels. It feels very gritty. Like there's almost like sandpaper underneath there. And that's what we're trying to smooth out. And it's a very simple process. It, it's not like it takes a long time. Fascia is, fascia is very pliable. So once you get it warmed up, you can get it to move around. We just don't want it to bunch up and, you know, limit how much volume that muscle tissue can have. Yeah, I think it's very important. I mean, not only bringing out the aesthetics of it, of bringing out the details of the body and really getting to shape the muscles how it needs to look, but also how healthy the tissue needs to be so you can still keep training. Because as you're um, going into prep and those calories start to deplete and you're in a deficit, you know, you're still putting energy output. So. The, the muscle tissue needs to be healthy and we can clean that out because the stress that you put on the muscle can really cause that scar tissue and the muscle fiber. So, and that's what we want to keep it healthy. Perfect. And uh, massage techniques change from like prep time to off season when you're gonna grow. And um, so when you're growing, you the body can handle more of the deep tissue, the more aggressive massage massages because you you can you're, you're feeding the body a whole lot more you know the vitamins and nutrients it's it's handling a whole lot more but also it keeps it healthy enough so it does, doesn't start taxing the joints because a lot of times when that muscle gets too tight or it's just um, not moving anymore then you're just going to start feeling joint pain and then you're not really going to know what's wrong and um, you know you don't want to find out when you're 30 days out from stage time Days. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Alright guys, so uh, like I said before, um, recovery has been a huge 
focus of mine during this prep. Um, I've been seeing a gal. I've I should talk to you guys a little bit about some uh, dry needling I've done. Um, I've done ice baths at this point, lots of stuff. So everything that I can to um, just stay healthy and um, get to the stage um, looking my best. So um, if you guys want to get some tissue work done, I highly recommend. If you're in Las Vegas, come see Miguel. He is the best and um, he's really helped me just stay on top of my game for this prep. So I'm so, so uh, fortunate to have him. Um, and I think maybe we're gonna do one more session too, right? Yeah, before. One more session before One more session time. before stage time. Um, so if you guys uh, don't already follow Miguel, follow him at the Torture Room uh, Dragon's Lair in Las Vegas. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and comment below if you guys like this video. I wanna see more like this.